name is Brian Evans. I have a successful veterinary practice in Encinitas, California, where we're using the latest in treatments and technologies. Not a drop of blood. We're doing minimally invasive surgery, which is really at the cutting edge of what's happening in veterinary medicine right now. Nice job, team. This is definitely something that I could sit here very comfortably and run this practice and, you know, be fine, retire eventually and be very comfortable. But that's just not the way. When I was in college, I had the opportunity to do research in the jungles of Costa Rica and Peru and lived in there in very remote conditions and really fell in love with the nature and the countries. Going down more and more and more to South America and Central America, you just see there's animals everywhere and there's just so much need for veterinary care and that there's just no real access to it. to kind of create an opportunity to start just providing care to really rural areas. And I almost think it's a duty for us to do that. So, Brian, don't be so f***ing awkward, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> so Greg is the other doctor I'll be traveling with. We've known each other for 10 plus years. He just graduated from veterinary school. The uh, online veterinary university of Uzbekistan is a fully credentialed school. He has a lot of experience with zoo, so he'll be really able to help us with some of the livestock, some of the horses and cows, because that's such a big part of their livelihood down there. So we're going to this rescue today, and uh, apparently the main horse that we're gonna be looking at, they bought her for $55 from auction because she was gonna go to the meat industry. She must be in pretty bad shape if they bought her for $55. We'll see. We'll give her a good look over and see what we need to do to get her back and uh, feeling 100% again. I just want to know, and I'm not saying it's totally relevant, but am I in your will at all? Like if you get kicked in the head by a horse? <laughs> Dr. Evans, how are you? <laughs> so good. Happy to see how are you? Greg Bishop. So what's going on here? Uh, so we have homes over here. Uh, we rescued from auction last month. We bid against a kill buyer, yeah. got her for $55, probably two or three um, overgrown feet and full teats. I think that they had probably taken her baby away that day um, oh. when they sent her to auction. Wow. You, you can see she can stand to probably put on another 100 pounds, yeah. I think. He's just listening to you. Nothing big deals happening. You see the spinous process on her shoulder blade there, and you can see the lines of her ribs, and how we kind of get an idea that she's under conditioned. So let's get her sedated. Let's give her something to take the edge off so she's not going to be fighting us at all and get good control of her head. And then once she's nice and calm and relaxed, we'll get her into kind of a head halter, pick her head up, and then just kind of evaluate what we have going on in there. She's got a little bleeding in there. Right now, there's a couple extra teeth that can cause some problems in, in these horses' mouth called the wolf teeth. one on each side on the upper and we're just getting in there and digging around it and eventually it'll get loose and we can just kind of pull it out. You feeling it loosen? Yeah. It's coming. Also feeling the sweat dripping down my arms. The angle is a little weird. Yeah. There it is. Nice. You gonna make a necklace out of that? <laughs> That's it. You're gonna feel better now, huh? Good job. Nice. I think she's gonna be fine. Give her a week, that thing will heal up and she'll be eating like a champ. Cool. So we'll expect a thank you card from her, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Let's get out of here. That's our thing. <laughs> <laughs> Not 
bad day. This is our opportunity to actually get out there and do something. Can you imagine this day where we can get into the truck, all of the supplies, cross into Mexico, and then have no idea what is going to happen from there? This is gonna be such a crazy challenge. I mean, this is gonna be pushing us so far past our comfort zone. Over the past few years, I've just felt this burning desire to go and do something like this that is extremely challenging and that is adventurous and I really want to put that into something that I can look back up in at the end of my life and be really, really proud of. This whole trip is about community health. Heal the animals, save the village. Let's do it. Don't hit me. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be amazing. Vamos!